Hi guys, Leticia here with Made with Love by Glamour, where everything here is made and taught with love, one stitch at a time, by me, Glamour. Um, today's little tutorial, at least I hope it turns out to be a little short tutorial, is going to be on how to start a ring to work in the round. Like if you want to start off making a little beanie or something, you usually start at the top with the ring and then you it gets bigger and bigger. Or if you want to make a coaster, there's a, there's a few different ways on how to do that. Um, one of the ways that I'm going to show you, I, I know of three different ways. There, there probably are others, but I'm kind of new at crocheting myself. So I'm going to show you the three ways that I know how. I'll, I'll make this tutorial by just showing you the first one. And then I'll make another one for the second and then another one for the third so these tutorials aren't too long. Okay, so go ahead and get yourself a hook, get yourself some a scrap piece of yarn just to practice with, and then meet me back here. Okay, so I'm sure you have your yarn and your hook now. I have an H hook, but it doesn't really matter which hook you grabbed because this is just for practice purposes. So I'm going to start off with the first way um, that I learned how to start working in the round. So you make your slip knot and then a lot of the patterns say to chain four, chain three, chain six, but I'm going to do it with a chain four. One, two, three, four. And then what you do is you go to the very first stitch that you made and you go in and you make a slip stitch to join the ring together and there you have a little ring and now the way you would start a hat or a coaster or something i'm going to use a double crochet as a uh, as a what am i trying to say as a little demonstration or as an example so i'll chain up three then i'll yarn over for a double crochet and then you'll find the center of the ring that you just made and you'll go in there and what I do is I like to hold on to the tail um, along with the stitch so that I can weave it in. So I mean, so I can stitch it in at the same time so that later on I don't have to weave it in with a needle. Make your double crochet. Do another one. Let's make let's make about ten of them in here. Go into the ring. Make your double crochet. Okay, you see it's starting to go round. So. This is how you start working in the round, one of the ways anyway. Go in, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. You can do this with a half double crochet. You can go in with a half double crochet if you want, or you can go in with a single or whatever. I just thought it'd be easier for you to see if I use a double crochet. So go ahead and, and see how I'm, I'm um, stitching that tail in, and later, you know, when we get to the end, we can just cut it because then you know that it's nice and protected and it's not going to unravel at that point. So, okay, let's make more double crochets. Um, my favorite way of doing, starting to work in the round is through a magic ring because you see how this is getting, it's getting kind of hard to put in the 10 that I wanted to put in. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm just now going to make the seven, and it's getting a little hard to get my double crochets in there. And that's why I prefer a magic ring, but this is this is the way that some patterns tell you to do it. So that was seven. This is eight. This is nine. And this is ten. So I actually made nine because that first... Um, chain up chain three is considered a double crochet so now you see we're we've made a little round part and that's usually what you start a little beanie with or a hat with or a coaster or anything that you want to make that is round a flower or anything so now we're going to count up three for the that, that we chained up let me see let me find it right there one two three go in there and make a slip stitch to close the ring there you go that's how you start working in the ring in this way by chaining up four and then closing it by um, going into the very first stitch and slip stitching and that closed up the ring and then we put our double crochets in there and then if you wanted to make it bigger then you would chain up three again and you would either do increase rows increase means putting two stitches in one or you would just go to the next one but I wanted to show you this is how you would start 
and then you would just follow the pattern for the rest of what to do after that. Okay, so that's this little tutorial, one way of how to start working in the ring. And I will show you two more on the next two videos, okay? Thank you for joining me here at Made With Love by Glamo, where everything is always taught and made with love, one stitch at a time, by me, Glamo. Bye.